So I'm Peter Jones of the USC Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center, and our paper deals with the mechanism by which transcription factors can reprogram genes which have been suppressed by the polycomb repressive complex. Well, we've been working in the area of reprogramming for a long time. Uh, it goes back to a paper we published in Cell in 1980 in which we showed that 5-azocytidine could activate the muscle program in fibroblasts. And then subsequent to that, Harold Weintraub did this amazing experiment in which he first of all cloned the transcription factor myOD and then put it back into fibroblasts and showed that he could make a fibroblast into a muscle cell after transfecting in just a single uh, transcription factor. And, and why should that be? I mean, it's, uh, you know, we have these epigenetic processes such as the polycomb repressive complex to avoid that from happening. And of course, so uh, we got another um, interesting uh, uh, fright, should I say, when Yamanaka showed the same thing using four transcription factors that he could reprogram a human fibroblast or a mouse fibroblast into a, a a pluripotential stem cell. And so for us it was a long history of working in the area of reprogramming that made this paper so satisfying. Well, Philip Tabele, who's the lead author on the paper, played a very important role uh, because she arrived here from Australia three and a half years ago uh, with a great interest in enhancers, which is what she worked on for her PhD thesis. Now, we uh, are not an enhancer lab and had little interest in it, but she convinced us and the other members of our lab to take an interest in the MyoD enhancer, and that was the key um, uh, thing that we needed to do because that illuminated everything. As a matter of fact, we did. Uh, we wanted to look very uh, precisely at how the enhancer and the promoter looked from the point of view of chromatin structure. And we've developed a new technique in the lab called GNOME-Seq, which is nucleosome occupancy and methylation analysis. So it allows us to look very precisely at whether enhancers and promoters are actually open in a, in a receptive way to receive the transcription factor. And without that technique, we would not have been able to do these experiments. Well, we, we were very surprised to find uh, that in fibroblasts, which do not express myOD, that the promoter was occupied by nucleosomes and silent, whereas the enhancer was actually open and receptive. And in fact, we couldn't distinguish the structure of the enhancer in a fibroblast from the enhancer in a muscle cell. So this was very unexpected. Uh, then we, uh, we did these experiments where we transfected myOD into the cells, and we found that myOD bound first to the enhancer and then was transferred to the promoter. And this was followed by the eviction of the nucleosomes and the establishment of a permissive state for expression. However, when we transfected OCT4 into the cells, and OCT4 is another important transcription factor, it bound to the enhancer and we saw remodeling at the promoter and the establishment of what's called a bivalent state in which the nucleosomes bo bear both active and repressive marks at the same time, but the nucleosome was not evicted. And so this was not a permissive state uh, for expression. So this was very surprising, the fact that a silenced gene has a permissive enhancer. Well, as a matter of fact, we do think it's a general mechanism. Uh, so what Philippa did to help, uh, together with our bioinformatics colleagues, uh, was to go and look in the databases for five um, differentiated cell types that are, uh, have been uh, sequenced and, and the epigenome has been looked at. And what we find is, is that as a, a large number of genes which are repressed by polycomb and therefore not expressed actually have what we would call a permissive enhancer. And so these enhancers for some reason remain receptive even though the gene is not being expressed. And we think that this may be of fundamental importance and explain how you can reprogram cells as Yamanaka did. In other words, the open enhancer allows the transcription factor access, following by remodeling at the promoter and the expression of the gene.